Now for our story. I wonder what Dell wants. Why she wouldn't put it off until morning. I did so want to be with Lance. But he'll wait. He said he'd wait all night. Oh, Lance, darling. Lisa Fenner paused outside Del Shipley's office in the Golden Peacock. Del's call to her dressing room a few minutes before had found the young dancer in her husband's arms. Now, as she thinks of that embrace, the first after their long estrangement, an overwhelming rush of love for him sweeps over her, blotting out all other thoughts. Lisa is smiling as she opens the door. Hello, Del. Here I am. Oh, hello, Lisa. Sit down. Thanks. I came as soon as I could. Yeah, that's fine. Well, Lisa, how are you? Del, I don't quite know yet. Hmm? What's happened? Anything new? Mm-hmm. Yes and no. But first, tell me about you. It seems years since you went down to Wakefield. Yeah, it does to me, too. Lily, tell me you both had a very nice weekend at Aunt Mary. Did she? Mm-hmm. I guess she gave you most of the highlights. Yes. She told me she was planning to go down there to live. That you were opening a supper club down there, and she was going to manage it. I think that's wonderful, Del. Well, <laughs> oh, it was Mary's idea, of course. I'm interested in seeing how it's going to work out, turning the place over to the kids one night a week. It's going to be quite an experiment. Lily seems to be looking forward to it. I was surprised at first, but I guess she's been wanting a change for quite a while. Well, it'll be good for her, if it's what she wants to do. Uh, Speaking of Wakefield, Lisa, that's what I want to talk to you about. About Wakefield? Yeah. We've got to have a serious get-together, and I didn't want to put it off. That's why I stayed after the show tonight. There's a lot of things you and I have to iron out. I don't understand. What have I to do with Wakefield? You can answer that yourself. No, I don't know what you mean. Lisa, when you were staying at Aunt Mary's, you and Peggy must have talked quite a lot. Well, of course I wasn't there awfully long. We didn't get to know each other terribly well. Did Peggy ever mention anything about Nicholas Dawn? I knew she was going around with him. Sure, but did you know she's engaged, planning to marry him within a month? Well, no, Del, but I'm glad. Nicholas struck me as being a very nice person. I'm afraid you don't quite understand, Lisa. It's not just a simple little matter of Peggy's being engaged to a nice guy. You know better than that. Or ought to. I ought to? Why? Dad, I don't understand... What's wrong? A lot of things, Lisa. And you're the only person who can put them right. I? Don't you really know what I'm driving at? No, Dell. Look, Lisa. In your talks with Peggy, she must have mentioned Bill Mead. Bill Mead? You must know that Peggy was in love with Bill before he married Kit Calvert. No, I didn't know that. Well, it's true. And Bill was deeply in love with Peggy. But this Calvert girl got her claws into him somehow. Before he knew it, she had him all tied up. See? Kit finally divorced Bill a short time ago. Their child was awarded to her. Kit got custody of the... the baby? Yes, Lisa. They say she doesn't give a hoot about the child either. But for some reason, she's determined to hang on to him. I think you know why. But... Del, why are you telling all this to me? What can I... You know very well why I'm telling you, Lisa. You know a lot about this baby boy. Bill Mead thinks it's his kid. No, no, I don't tell. It has nothing to do with me. Lisa, I understand now why you got so upset when you found out I was going down to Wakefield. When the story finally dawned on me, I remembered how panicky you'd been. You had a right to be. I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, you do, Lisa. You were afraid I'd make the connection. After you told me your part of the story about giving your child to this other woman. And I did dope it out, finally. I ought to have realized it sooner. That child Kit Calvert claims is her own. The child they gave into her custody after the divorce. Is your child, Lisa. Now, isn't that true? Yes, Del. It's true. There's no use denying it. Del, please, don't look at me like that. I told you how it happened, why I did it. At the time, it seemed the only thing I could do. I was alone then, frightened. 
Chip made me feel I had to because of what I'd done to her. Because she'd lost her own child. Sure. She sold you right down the river. And then when Paul Cromwell told me it was all a scheme of his and Kit's, I saw how I'd been deceived. I wanted to get my baby back, so I went to Wakefield. But Kit said I had no right. That I'd given him up and I had no right to claim him after she'd gone to so much trouble and expense. She told me he was all she had. It was my fault and there was no way to retrace things. I can imagine the kind of routine she handed you, Lisa. The damage was done all right. But it can be undone. It has to be. But I don't see how. I tried before, really I did, and I failed. Do you want to see Peggy Douglas ruin her life? Peggy? Lisa, Peggy loves Bill Mead. She always has loved him, and he loves her. It's your child that's keeping him apart. My child? But how? I don't see why. Look, Lisa, you know what Kit Calvert is. You know what she did to you. Yes. Well, Peggy was terribly hurt by her, too. Then, when Bill and Kit were divorced, there might have been a chance for those two kids to get together the way they should have been from the beginning. There still could be a chance, Lisa. It depends on you. But what can I do? Lisa, you know what I'm driving at. Peggy thinks that baby is Bill's. When Bill told her that he couldn't leave the child to be brought up by Ben Calvert and Kit, that he wanted custody of it, it made a big difference to Peggy. She knew that if she married Bill, she might have to take care of that baby, and she's afraid she couldn't be fair to it. Remembering it was Kit's. See it now. Then that's why she... Yes, that's why she sent Bill away. Why she agreed to marry Nicholas Dawn. Now, Lisa, you must understand what you have to do. You have to claim that baby of yours. But, Bill, you don't know what you're asking me to do. It's too late. If only you'd told me this before. Now that I've found an answer to my own life, I just can't give it up. Lisa, you asked my advice once. I couldn't give you an answer then. I didn't know. But now I do. You have a responsibility. A terrible responsibility. But it's not mine. It's Kit's. She took my baby. You know what Kit is. You suffered from her yourself. It's in your power to protect Peggy. She's just beginning her life. If she marries a man she doesn't love, well, she's bound to be miserable. And you're the only one who can prevent her. But, Dale, maybe Peggy really loves Nicholas. People change. You can take my word on that score. Peggy's in love with Bill, and he loves her. If it weren't for your child, they'd be okay. As it is, you're the one who must keep her from making an awful mistake. But after tonight, you don't know what it would mean to me. You can't. Lisa, if it were just a question of your own life, if it wouldn't affect anyone else, I couldn't blame you too much for looking at it only from your own standpoint. But it isn't like that. Now listen to me, Lisa. You've got to go down there to Wakefield and make a clean breast of this whole thing. You made a mistake when you let Kit take your baby from you. And there's only one way to redeem yourself. You've got to claim that baby. Lisa Fenner was confronted with a terrible choice. She thought of her husband, Lance, waiting in his dressing room at that moment. Lance, who loved her, wanted to start over and forget the past. But if she went to Wakefield, claimed the child, Lance would know the things she feared to have him know. The fact that she relinquished their baby son to another woman. 